the new year. Now, that was the new single, Supernatural, by Jay Carter. Welcome back, How are we? Thanks for having me back. Oh, good, yes. son. After entering the music scene in 2017, he's since released six singles, That's one right, Dancing six. with the Stars, ah, yeah. won it, yeah. and is now in the middle of his stellar 2019 tour. You're very um, welcome back, Jay. Thanks for having me back. He's managed to take time out of his busy schedule <laughs> to join us. Um, We've a lot you know, of business Anna was saying, here. Anna was saying, and it's a fair point, when we were listening to that, Jamiroquai. Yeah, my mum actually pointed that out to me when uh, I first played uh, the track. Yeah, it's very kind of, as we were saying, there's lots of synths and it kind yeah. of does take it back to like the 90s a bit, that, that era of pop music. But um, when we wrote the song, it was written with myself, an Irish lad from me called Connor and two Swedish lads. Ah. And the Swedes, they, they kind of know how to do the pop music. Do you know what I mean? Crazy, they're, it? they're crazy. And there's a touch, like, you mentioned Ollie Muir's. That makes sense to me. Now. Yeah, it's very kind of, I went to see Ollie last week and like I've seen some amount of acts including like Queen, Lionel yeah. Richie and I tell you he stood up to them like as a performer. Yeah, it was an amazing show. Yeah, so yeah. He doesn't stop, does he? He doesn't like know, he energy. keeps going. Um, so I would take a lot of inspiration from the mm. likes of Ollie Mears, Charlie Puth, Bruno Mars, Justin Timberlake, it's all them type stuff and it's very kind of fresh pop funk and energetic stuff. So all the new stuff that's coming that I'm writing at the minute is all very pop, pop funk. What kind of, what part of the process do you enjoy the most? Is it physically sitting down and writing it or then when you hand it away to someone like producers, are you nervous about when it comes um, back and press play? Definitely, but I was only chatting about this last night. Uh, we were driving home from the gig and I was chatting about producers and different stuff, but it's mental when, if you're part of the songwriting process of a song, you get something that some people call demo titus. So we do yeah, like yeah. demos and then you listen to a demo, but you get that in your head then. So no matter what you try and do in a studio, it comes back to that. So it's yeah. kind of good in a way, I think, to give it to a producer and let them show you where they think the song should go <clears> and then kind of mould it to where well, you want them. not what you originally planned Well, then the song, you, you know? just you go, go to a different producer, say... yeah, go to a different fella or go to the same fella and say, listen, can we go back to the drawing board here and this is more down That's the route that I want. That's the struggle, though, isn't yeah. it? That someone wants something else for you and you oh, have is, to yeah. kind of remember to stay true to yourself. That's it, especially... Uh, that's why I love songwriting because it's yours, it's your baby, do you know yeah. what I mean? You've yeah. done there, been there from the start, and it, it means a lot more to someone, I think, if you've actually wrote the song. But then when you take it to a studio, it's just if you're part of the process, which I, I love, as you're saying there, what's my favourite part? It's yeah. different for each song, do you know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. it's the writing, sometimes it's being in the studio, and sometimes it's singing it live. And do they all start a different way, Jake? Like, do you Definitely, start with... yeah. Like, do they start with lyrics and then melody, or melody and lyrics? Different, like, if you looked at my phone, there's, like... There's, I have voice recordings and I'm up to like voice record number 679 now and they'd just be random like melodies some of them that I've wrote yeah. and then there's a notes page which is just random lyrics and each song is different you know what I mean I do a lot of writing in a, a there's a publishing company in Dublin called The Nucleus and they have a little studio at the top of South William Street like a hub yeah, yeah and yeah. it's the it's so like um What's the word I'm looking for? Like, there's so it's, much to look around. Yeah, it's so, great. Yeah. And it's a source of inspiration it is, for it's you. It's cool, and you're at the top window, and I was looking out the other day, and it was sunny, and I was sweating in the studio because, like, it's, it's a little box. <laughs> like, like, like a goldfish yeah, ball. And the window yeah. doesn't really open, oh, but it's kind of half open. And, Sounds great. But uh, it's... It, no, but it's so, <laughs> like... like it's, studio. <laughs> <laughs> it's inspiring, like, to look out the window, yeah. and you can get so much inspiration from being there. So I love songwriting, and then when you take it to the stage and you hear people singing back the song, then that's, that's the... I was just going to say that it must be hugely exciting when you get the record back and you play it and you give a thumbs up happy enough. But it must be hugely exciting then putting it out there, either at gigs or putting it on. Yeah, I mean, it's very nerve wracking because when you're releasing a song, you know, you're like one of probably like three or four people that have heard yeah. the song and hopefully they like it. And then yeah. when you release it, you're kind of like, oh, I hope this kind of lands like the other singles do. I hope people like it and will enjoy the Because your, hard, your hardcore fans will always like it. That's it, yeah, they'll but, always sing along no matter what. in terms of, of the general music industry, and, I'm, and I mean yeah. the critics, how do you take criticism? Can you, um, you, have you have to take it, it with a pinch of salt, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's a music business and, you know, people are always going to have criticism. And it's great, though, because, you know, there's a lot of the Irish sort of pop industry is only, it's only small, mm. but it's so tough. There's so many lads about in it. And, but yeah. it's great to hear and meet up with different lads and then tell you what they think. And, and you have know, you had a harsh critic? Have you had a moment where you... I've had plenty of moments where we've sent stuff into radio and they've sent it back and been like, no. Nah, not for us, go again, Brilliant. do you know what I mean? And it's it's a struggle constantly, but it's the same for everyone, do you know what I mean? And it's yeah. great to kind See, of go it's, back it's to the drawing board then. It's lovely and it's important that you have Nathan and you can, yes. you, can you know, relay those experiences Oh, it's to great, yeah, yeah. He's been there, I'm sure. Yeah, he's been there, done that, but uh, even though it's completely, as we were saying before, 
completely different genres. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's great to have someone that's had the contact, well, the has the contact, you know, it? knows what. It's at the end of the day, it's a music business. You know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's the same process. It's, that's it. Yeah. So from it's the great to the writing to the production to the selling of the single. Yeah. So I can always, you know, Nathan's been such a help to me growing up. Uh, I can always pick up the phone to him or yeah, go and chat to him and say, listen, this is what's coming up, yeah. what do you think, yeah. can I have any advice? So and it's you know, great it's to have nice someone. that you've got a different style. You're poppy, as you said, he's very much country. Yes. Um, a modern country, I suppose, but it's lovely that you, you've done your own thing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was always the one growing up listening to the likes of, like, McFly with a big band that I yeah, was yeah. into growing up, and mm. people are probably thinking, oh, McFly, like, do you know what I mean? But I was mad, and so I remember going to see them in uh, the Echo, well, what was, it's now the Echo, not the MS, Bank Arena in Liverpool, yeah, rather, they keep changing keep it. it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I remember going to see them and there was like water guns and everything on stage and me being like seven or eight years of age going, like, wow, go mental. And his style, by the way, is pop funk. Pop, pop, pop funk, funk yeah. Sorry, very what did I say? Pop, very yeah. different to pop. Pop funk. Pop funk. <laughs> Whatever comes out in the studio. Can we um, talk about Dancing with the Stars? We can do, yes. You know, that was an amazing launch pad for you. It for was. anyone who wasn't aware of you beforehand, they were certainly aware of you afterwards because you you were incredible on, the, oh, on that you. show. You were just it just <clears> came so <throat> the easy. The kid can to dance. You. There's no doubt yeah. about it. It just didn't that. look like work for I'm you. I'm a good bluffer. That's about it. <laughs> but no, no but you dancing... can't bluff that stuff. So ah, it did come easy. I had to a good you. teacher. I have to say that, I suppose. But um, Dance with the Stars was a great experience. You know what I mean? It's mad. I was only living in Ireland. Uh, six months when I was asked to do the show and I was a nobody like I, I, no one knew me it was kind of I was very shocked to be asked to do the show uh, I was as people say I was known then as Nathan Carter's brother do you know what I mean yeah. and it was great to kind of get that platform to be able to say hi guys I'm Jake I'm my own person this is my music and it's yeah. been great after that as well because it's kind of launched my music to so many new people that I wouldn't yeah. have been able to reach without it and as well as that it was a great experience you know what I mean to be able to do a, tele a television show of that sort of you know genre and you know to relate back to Strictly in England if you look yeah. at that and that's with the stars in America it's a, huge, a huge franchise like, you know it I mean? does and you have some seriously hardcore fans we have a picture that's been sent in yes by one of I'm your fans I'm a bit fans. scared no. right, let's have a look look, look at the nails, oh, the nails. <laughs> Your that's face. actually uh, Karen's oh. hand at home right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> sent that in. I don't think it is. No, I don't think Karen would be bothered with uh, those nails, would yeah. she? <laughs> I wonder, was that expensive to get them? I don't know where, where you get that I done. Have no that's a proper idea. fan. That's a it proper is. Fan. Oh, there's some great ones. I, I was in Sligo last night doing a gig on that the tour. That was Karen, by the way. So <laughs> hello, to Karen. Hello, Karen. Cara. Cara. Cara, Cara sorry. sorry Cara. <laughs> it wasn't my Karen. Yeah. Um, but I was in Sligo last night and Fans always bring like different stuff, do you know what I mean? Like chocolate yeah. and sweets. And then there was this photo book, I think their names were Emma and Liz were the two girls. And they'd made a photo book of like, ah. with like 50 pages of every ah. gig and everywhere they'd seen That's me. So, so sweet. It's and great to get we're, stuff like We're that. running out of time, but you are touring across the country in the summer, doing festivals, etc. I'm doing some festivals. I am in Dunleary on June the 8th. And then we're finishing this part of the tour mm. off in Cork mm. Opera House on June the 29th. So can't and wait. Singles out now. Single Supernatural is out right now on Spotify and iTunes and all of the usual Good platforms. Lads. And Good yourself lads. and Karen are still together, obviously. We are. We're still Great. together, yeah. Because remember, we were guessing during the show. He was very coy, wasn't he, at he the was time? He was very coy. Playing, a, playing the smart game, weren't you? I don't know. I think he's <laughs> making this up in your own heads, guys. <laughs> right, don't forget, if you want to see Jake to see perform this tune, you can get your hands on tickets at jakecarterofficial.ie. Right, up next, we're throwing back to Laura, who's at the Secret Life of Pets 2 premiere. You won't want to miss that. See you in a few minutes.